all right today we'll be implementing the hands on for athena so uh, we have we need to first create one s3 uh, because uh, the query is on athena needs one temporary place so we'll be uh, creating one s3 so let's uh, navigate to the console so here uh, as we can see i've already created one uh, a dummy bucket to uh, keep the files now let's uh, duplicate this tab since this is an athena tutorial so uh, we need to navigate to athena in order to uh, configure so we'll be configuring everything from the scratch so that as a beginner you can also follow this tutorial so we'll select the first one query uh, data with try no sql launch query editor so in the uh, query editor if you go here we need to create one workgroup we won't be using this primary so uh, what is a workgroup first of all so workgroup is um, nothing but is a kind of segregation let's say uh, there are three uh, teams development test and production so how do we segregate uh, the uh, data how uh, the teams uh, so that there is no conflict between them so we need to create workgroup so let's uh, give it a workgroup name so let's give cloud guru amit workgroup description is optional um, we can write testing athena whatever you can write uh, if you are a dev team write dev uh, development work it will be automatic upgrading the query engine we don't need to worry about uh, let's uh, scroll down a bit then here we have queries result configuration so we have already created this bucket so we need to uh, browse this uh, path so this is the uh, result uh, it's written like the uh, region where the query result will be saved uh, as an object so we need this so let's uh, browse the path so yes i have uh, already browsed this part let's uh, go down to the bottom now uh, let's uh, click on create work group so our work group is up so next task uh, will be uh, because we we need to uh, query the data so in order to query the data the data should be in database right so for the database we need to navigate to glue in order to create one database if there is database we can directly query it but since um, it's uh, i'm doing everything from the scratch so let's uh, do it i'll be going to the data catalog here we have database first we'll be creating database then the tables so that's how we should proceed so let's click on add database uh, let's write it down cloud guru amit database uh, we'll click on create looks good our database is uh, created now let's click on the database currently our database has no table because we are creating everything from scratch let's click on add table so we need to give it a uh, table name uh, blockbuster movie we have, we have all we need to create one database since we have already created this database we are seeing this option otherwise there is one il inbuilt option as well we need to create a database which would eventually uh, land to the same place where we have created the database so let's select cloud guru amit database because this is uh, already what we have done let's uh, scroll down a bit uh, we need to browse our s3 path once again so let's uh, browse this uh, path so we have successfully browsed uh, this uh, of the location so please note it's currently throwing an uh, error because we have not given one slash so please put one slash like this the error will go please note this thing this slash matters our data is in csv format why our data is in csv format because let me show what data i have uh, so this is our csv file uh, there are basically um, three rows uh, i mean um, three columns um, we'll be putting this in the string format because we are not doing any kind of aggregate like sum or uh, those kind of thing average doesn't matter for us it's a csv data so that's why i'm selecting csv it's uh, comma separated delimiter ne uh, let's go to next let's uh, add the schema so i've uh, shown you the structure of the table uh, the structure is basically first uh, we can uh, name it id column then we'll be uh, naming it as um, a movie name and then the year so let's uh, create uh, those things id column let's put it string it doesn't matter um, it can uh, 
if you are doing any kind of um, aggregate or anything then then it matters the data type but since we'll be do, doing simple select statement so i'll be putting for simplicity the data type as string but in real projects maybe you need to uh, take care of the data type as well save it then again we need to add uh, here uh, second is our uh, movie name if you look at the excel uh, this one is movie names and the third one is year so depending upon that we need to uh, give it again we have put a string so movie name will definitely be in string because uh, it contains um, text just the text create it and the column number 3 if you look column number 3 is year so uh, we'll be typing as year it's just the name uh, the headers of the uh, table let's save it uh, so we are done uh, creating the schema next uh, uh, let's click on next everything looks good uh, let's uh, click on create now so yes our, our table got uh, created now as uh, mentioned uh, we can look uh, these are the uh, column names there uh, but uh, in order to query from Athena we need to uh, upload one object uh, our object will be this file uh, which is residing on my computer so let's browse this file and upload to s3 so that we can query it let's click on upload add files all right let's now browse the file blockbuster films let's browse it select it let's upload this file here so it takes a while yeah the file got uploaded um, we have the object in place now so let's uh, check it yes this is in place so now let's navigate back to Athena since uh, everything is uh, created for us so make sure to select the uh, work group uh, which we have created uh, cloud guru Amit work group which we have recently created so now we have uh, switched so here uh, if you look uh, it's automatically showing the tables so blockbuster movie we just now created it so let's now uh, click on preview table and if we preview it yeah we got the output right these were the column names we created and these were the data in the excel uh, that is in csv format let's uh, put it side by side if we can do it yeah if you can see the same data uh, we can query via s3 so let's go back to the architecture diagram and review what we have done so this is me as a user i'm using the aws console I have used Athena to query the data directly uh, uh, the file uh, up uploaded to the S3 so our table blockbuster movie uh, we have um, we are uh, querying so which is this file uh, this is uh, this table now uh, we can check see blockbuster movie here also the table name is there so I hope uh, you found this tutorial and how to query data using Athena the concept is uh, simple so just remember Athena can save lot of cost as compared to Redshift, Redshift Spectrum anything in real projects because Athena is meant for querying complex uh, queries and large data so just remember th uh, this uh, fact uh, the use case of Athena because using Redshift again we can query it but it's not cost effective solution and S3 just remember it's uh, like the cost effective solution for storage uh, we can store any file and directly query it using uh, Athena right so I hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful and it uh, helped uh, clarify your concepts on it